Hey everybody, it's your girl Nell. Welcome to Simply Dell's Tiny Studio. I'm your girl Nell. And yes, my voice sounds really crazy because I am definitely under the weather. I think I have the flu or had the flu or I'm getting over the flu. At one point, I thought I had the COVID. <laughs> because I was just so, so sick. But I want to send a shout out to my nephew who did have the COVID, he just got over it, he had the COVID, the flu, and RSV, mm -hmm. at the same damn time, he was in the hospital, so, he said that was the sickest he ever felt in his life, and that he felt like he was going to die, so, no, I did not get to that level, <laughs> so, I'm kind of certain that I did not have the COVID, but I was just really down this weekend, just really, really down. So I have been I'm drinking some tea in my mom's mug. I can't remember which one of my children bought this for me. I think it was Kyle. Drinking tea out of my mom's mug. Um, it's uh, chamomile tea. I infused it with some golden seal and some liquid vitamin C. So let me keep. Let me drink that right now. Mm. And you will see me sipping on this tea throughout this video. So, yes, I did. I thought I had the COVID, but I'm doing okay. I'm doing better. Um, and the reason why I'm up is for two reasons. The first thing is I felt pretty good today. So, that's not the reason, though. <laughs> Oh, pretty good today the other the, the first reason is the fact that I have homework I gotta read I have four chapters that need to be read by next week I am in graduate school I am studying to become a doctor the psychologist clinical psychologist so I have reading to do and off, on top of that optional readings to do and auxiliary readings to do so I have a lot of work that I need to catch up on before class starts next week. Um, the other reason I'm in a tiny studio is that I'm doing a little maintenance on some of my, my handbags. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, as I told you, I'm revamping the tiny studio. I've already ordered the curtains that's going to hang here. Um, these curtains are blackout curtains, and I really, really love these curtains because... Um, you know, when I don't want it to be, I, when I don't want the sun shining in, the, in my in my tiny studio, you know, I can just close these curtains and it, it blacks out the light. And I appreciate that. Sometimes I'm in the tiny, tiny studio late at night and I'm watching a movie or something like that. And I have a really great, you know, when I'm, when I am uh, talking to you on a uh, filming this video on is a really great it's a samsung uh s9 ultra and i really love this tablet but let me tell you as far as movies are concerned oh there's nothing like it i mean i know you people out there who love apples you know you can love on that that's fine but i'm a samsung girl and my samsung s9 ultra tab is double oh excuse me so anyhow I'm in a tiny studio thinking about some things, doing some maintenance, and I recently, I have this shelf here, and it has my, um, my vintage, some of my vintage coach collection here, and so, uh, I was working on that a little bit, one of my bags fell, my, um, horse and carriage, Eddie, I think that's the Eddie, uh, I want to say it's the Eddie 31, and you know, when I like a bag, or when I love a bag, I buy it in multiples. So that Eddie there, the horse and carriage, I have three of them. I have two 31s, which is the uh, coach and the um, robin's egg blue. And then it's an apricot, if you can see that on the, the far, this side right there. And then my favorite bag of all my bags is uh, the coach Eddie horse and carriage. I believe it's a 41. So it's larger than the other two bags. Love those bags. Love, 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 love. So I have them in multiples, as you see. And um, I have some hooks coming. I'm going to be removing my my classic, my beautiful, beautiful clown picture. I will be putting that in storage. And um, the reason why, if you remember, there was a painting that was hanging behind me uh, in my earlier videos. And uh, that picture of the golden lady came from a very good friend of mine he passed away last year and so I took it down and I put it in another part of the house but then I purchased two more um, 
paintings that were just really, really huge. I can't even describe to you how big they are, but they're huge. And it kind of dwarfed that particular painting. So I'm going to be bringing that painting back here in the tiny studio. And um, also as a, a, in tribute to my friend that passed last year. And um, so I'm in a tiny studio for what? <laughs> My head is like in a fog. I know I said I was, I was in here for two reasons. And um, I didn't forget what the other reason was. But anyhow, I'm in here taking care of some business. Now, so tiny studio business. Um, after I jump off, after I finish talking to you, I will be studying here in the tiny studio. Um, I am a grad student. I'm starting to become a clinical psychologist. So I have reading. That I need to catch up on. So I will be doing that here in the tiny studio today as well. But yes, I remember what it is I'm supposed to be doing. I am supposed to be repairing this coach bag. Let me show it to you. And This is not a vintage bag, but it is a poppy. And it's a handle. It's a coach poppy. And it has two pockets. It's in a hobo style. And it has two pockets on the outside. Now, I wore this maybe about three months ago, I want to say. Back maybe in September or October. And one of the buttons came off. So, I... Remove, so I put the button in here inside the pocket. So I'm thinking that I have some glues and I'm going to glue the button back on and um, I have some Gorilla Glue and I have some um, I have some metal glues and I'm just going to pull out my jewelry kit and um, repair that button today. It's just something, you know, something to, uh, something cool to do here in a tiny studio. And the bag has been sitting here. <laughs> It's been sitting here like my daughter's bag was in here for a while. I repaired her, um, I think that was a Michael Kors bag she had. I think she had a leather Michael Kors. Was it Michael Kors? No, 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 that's not true. It was a Dooney, a Dooney and Burke bag she had that needed to be, to be repaired. And um, I think it was the handle needed to be repaired. It was coming away at the, um, the, the stitching was coming away or pulling away at the um, top of the purse top of the bag and so I had to get my leather kit out and, and sew that up and um, then I uh, cleaned her leather and conditioned it and all that other stuff so but it had been sitting here in a tiny studio for like months <laughs> it really was so um, I want to get this fixed because I want to go ahead and put this up because I don't think I'm going to wear it again uh, this season and um, if you are looking for this bag, this is a poppy bag. As I said before, I have maybe about, I want to say about maybe four or five bags from the poppy collection. And um, I really wasn't cool with the, um, the branding of the C's on the coach bags. But, you know, there were like a few that I would see and I was, you know, I was, you know, I was game for it. Even though I complained about it, I don't like, I don't like coach having the, the bags with the C's and why can't they stick to the, their leather bags and, you know, that was me, but I like this bag. So, and I, like I said, I bought about four of them. Not, not of this style, but four poppies. So this is the coach poppy and I was going to tell you what her numbers are. Let's see. She was made in the 
month F. So what is that? Let's see. January, February, March, April. Let's see. A, B, I'm sick. Let me just do this. A, B, C, D, E, F. So that's the month of June and in 2010. So this is a really good bag. I really love this, this poppy bag. And... 2010 I'm trying to state my children were young uh, my baby was oh I want to say she was six in 2010 yes yeah, she was six and so as you can tell sometimes with my bags they're large you know I I have maybe a few small bags like you can see there's a small crossbody right there you know but I didn't really <laughs> I didn't really start wearing smaller you know handbags until you know my tiny studio studio assistant constantly became a little bit you know she became uh older and then i would do that i would wear smaller bags but you know i have i have asthma so i need a bag that's going to be able to carry my my little um my little um nebulizer you know my inhaler you know I carry medicine with me sometimes, you know, I carry a lot of stuff, you know, so I need a, a, a large substantial bag, but I don't carry pacifiers and bottles and, and, you know, wipes and all that stuff anymore, but I do carry, excuse me, I do carry Lysol, I still carry uh, Lysol wipes and things like that, so I, I like to have a substantial bag, and this bag has been a pretty, pretty good bag all these years, so this is a Coach Poppy. Now, speaking about the, the C's and how I love to hate them, but end up loving them, I have another C bag. And I believe she is the Madison Sabrina. And... My husband, my husband purchased this bag for me years ago. It was part of the 1941 line. Oh, excuse me. It was part of the 1941 line. And let me see. I took her out because I wanted to show you my love-hate relationship with the with coach and the seeds. Let me see. Um, she comes with a strap, of course. And let's see. I used to have the tag that told me exactly what she was, but I don't have it anymore. And it looks like I used this bag so much. It looks like some of the registration came off, but I can look that up. That's one, two, one, two, nine, four, seven. So let's look that up. You know, a really good way to find out uh, if you buy Coach purses on the, the pre-love market, a really good way to find out if they're authentic is to just look up the registration number. I think that was 12947. One, yep, there it is. It's called the Coach Madison Op Art Sabrina Satchel. That's what it's called. Okay. And I'm trying to see if I... And I believe this bag came out around 2010 as well. Here is another picture of it. There it is. And uh, let me see. Here's another picture of it. So I'm thinking this bag came out in, I want to say it came out about 2010, 2011. Somewhere in there. It's a beautiful bag. Coach has so many different, um, 
different collections, child. You can just get all into the different collections of coach. So I have a, a like I said, I have a love hate relationship with the seeds. <laughs> I have a few more bags, as a matter of fact, that have coach that have the seeds on it. And I still love this bag. I still wear her. I took her out um, for the fall, winter. But I have yet to wear her this year. Well, this season. I may wear her uh, before the season is up. But um, this is the, the Sabrina. And she's a really great bag. Of course, you know I have her stuff. Because that's one of my, one of my pet peeves is, you know how we take care of our bags and how we well how we don't take care of our bags and like i said before i was a really really you know ridiculous when it came to taking care of my bags as far as not taking care of them but i would say within the last 10 years i've learned how to properly take care of a coach or any luxury bag because i have several uh different bags but um this is still a good bag. Uh brass hardware, um, leather straps. Um, even though this is a canvas type of material, it's still uh, in excellent condition as you can see. Still in really, really, really good condition. And um, you know. I still wear her. Like I said, I haven't worn her this year or this season. Okay, I see there's a stain there, so I'm going to have to uh, clean that. But like I said, I haven't worn her this season, but, you know, she has had some, seen some use. But, um, even though I have this love-hate relationship with the coach and the seeds and stuff like that, you know, I still have a few bags that have the seeds on them. Like this bag right here. This is a crossbody in coach seeds. And um, my daughters tried to take this bag for me. <laughs> they did, they did. And because it's cute. It's cute. It's small. And um, when I wear her, this is the inside. And when I wear her, you know, it's... Um, I usually... I'm going to have to snip this because there's a little... Hair. Not hair. <laughs> a little strand of uh, threading there. And I'm gonna I'm gonna snip that carefully. But um I've kept this bag in really excellent condition all these years. I believe this bag came out about 2011. Crossbody from the uh boutique. And it's still in excellent, excellent condition. And um which is astonishing because I found this bag at the bottom of one of my storage bins maybe about three years ago. I have totally forgot about it. And um, let me see. I have some of this stuff in here with it. Yes, I do. I have a wristlet as well. <laughs> with, the, with the C's. Isn't it something? And I really, when I used to take my sons to school in the morning, you know, I would just throw an inhaler and my license and, you know, maybe $20 in here and just, you know, drop them off at school when I, um, when they missed the bus or something like that. But, um, I didn't wear it a lot because, uh, of the size. And as I said before, I just, you know, size for me means everything. And, but, you know, for trips to like Bush Gardens, you know, because we live here in Florida, Bush Gardens or going to Orlando or something like that, this was the perfect, this is the perfect crossbody to just drape around yourself and 
go and hang hang out and have a really great time. So I don't know why this bag is out, <laughs> but it just happens to be out. I'm going to um oh I know why it's out because I bought the hooks for my wall there and I'm going to uh, hang this bag up along with my um, uh, vintage coach dinky and I think I have something else a smaller bag that's going to be hanging up on that wall but anyhow I don't know what we were talking about <laughs> before we started talking about that probably about what's going on in the tiny studio but anyhow I am going to end this video You'll be able to see part two of this video probably on Friday or Saturday because I don't want to keep you guys too long here in the tiny studio. I want you to be able to go ahead, do whatever you, whatever you want to do because, you know, I could just go on and on and on and on. But that's what's happening for me in the tiny studio. The next time you join me, I'm going to talk about those two new stewardess bags that I, that I purchased and we're going to get into that. And then, um... I don't know what else we're going to be talking about. <laughs> I just need to get over this flu, cold, or whatever this is. So I'm going to finish drinking up my tea. Thank you so much for hanging out with me here in the tiny studio. Listen to me ramble on about whatever it is I was talking about. Because trust me, I have forgotten. My daughter slipped some NyQuil in my, my juice maybe about an hour or so ago. So I am rambling. I am relaxed. And um, I'm going to be shocked when this video uploads and I watch it in a few days, right? I also want to give a shout out to my daughter-in-law who is responsible for my earrings today. And she is also responsible for my lipstick, my makeup. I don't have any makeup on today, but I do have on my lipstick, which is courtesy of my daughter-in-law, Janae. Thank you, Janae. So, listen, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe, uh, like. If you had a good time hanging out with me here in the tiny studio, if you have any thoughts or suggestions or things you would like to see, you would like to talk about, um, let me know. All right? So, I will see you again Friday. Here in a tiny studio, I am your girl Nell, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.